Yankees logo a Masonically connected institution. And again, I'll, I make the distinction. There is such a thing as true, esoteric, positive, uh, light Freemasonry versus what has become a completely uh, infiltrated institution, dark Masonry. And the Lodge system is in a state of disarray. And I know there are some Masons right in this room. And uh, I'm, I'm doing this on my podcast right now. Uh, the shows I've been doing are all about Freemasonry recently. And you can see the distinction that I'm making between true Freemasonry and dark occultic Masonry. And there's a world of difference between the two. Here we see the inverted pentagram again on the third eye chakra. Put right on the forehead of the person who's being mocked occultically by putting it there. They're telling them they're in a state of total denial of their own spiritual nature. And they're putting that emblem right there and they can't see it. The all-seeing eye is the next symbol that needs to be understood. This is a commonly misconstrued symbol. What it ultimately represents is the balanced brain hemispheres combined with the heart. So it's the heart and mind that comes to full expression. And this is a symbol that is co-opted and perverted and come to be used or identified with the dark occultists. However, that is not what it really represents. What it really represents is light. It represents balance. It represents the light of the creator, the true creator. Okay? It represents thought, emotion, and action in unity, non-dual consciousness. Now watch the eye there, up there. Ultimately, that's what it represents. There it is, the human pineal gland in the center of the head. Awakened, it is open, it is our one eye, the spiritual vision that only activates and comes online when we become awakened. The dark occult wants to put that light out from the world to build their new world order. This is the world they want to build. They want to finish that pyramid of stone, of block, of bricks, which block us from our true nature. They want to build the world of darkness, with no light in it, where they rule from the shadows. And they have all the light in a state of disconnection with everyone else. So this is a dual symbol, and it needs to be understood as such. We need to bring that light to fuller manifestation in the world, to get rid of all the blocks, and to bring that light down so that it joins up with the earth, and we can complete the one true great work of truth, love, and freedom. So that is the all-seeing eye. Let's see some examples of it. The first place, obviously, where that, where that sigil comes from is from the one dollar bill. Again, identifying it with unity consciousness. The word money is right before our face every day. Billions of people say this word. And they never have actually simply split it in two. The one I. Mono and I. And they're identifying it with the true one eye, and they're giving it to us again in proxy. And we'll look at how the color green is used in connection with money. Okay? This is the most powerful force driving mind control. This is the ultimate form of mind control. This is what people do dark and cold this bidding for. It is the most powerful religion of this world. I have often called it the one and only religion. No matter what religion somebody is, they believe in this. It is the most powerful God of this world. It has taken the place of the true God of creation. Just like in They Live, the hero looks at money without his sunglasses where he can see in an awakened state and he just sees a one dollar bill. But put on the glasses, what does it say? This is your God. Yeah. <laughs> frequency aspect of this whole system of control through symbolism, which we'll see come up over and over again. They color money green here because they want to attach it to several ideas. The first is balance. Green is the middle of the visible spectrum of light. It is the color of balance in the frequency range that the human eyes 
can perceive. Therefore, it comes into the middle of our vision. And that's a theme that's going to come up over and over again. It, we see that the rainbow energy wheels, known as the chakras, okay, go in frequencies from red and then up through the violet to the crown chakra, from low to high frequencies. The heart chakra is right in the middle. So that is the center of self, the heart, okay? And it's colored green. And interestingly, interestingly the Anahata chakra is a six-pointed seal of Solomon, the blazing star, which we've already seen. There it is. Green is the color of nature. Nature provides this color in the greatest abundance because this planet is attempting to love us. And we return it for money and for the jobs that we feel we must do with rape. That's what we return the planet's love with in general. But green is the center of nature in addition to being the center of self. It is also, as we've already seen, the center of consciousness. The balancing of the blue frequencies of the right brain with the red of the left brain. Which is why I color those that way. This is why they use the color green for money. To represent balance, to represent enlightenment, to represent love, to represent nature. And it's none of these things and never will be because it's a figment of your imagination. It does not exist in nature. Just like government does not exist in nature. So there, this is all about frequency control. But we're going to get to how that's used for police. Namely, how they split these two imbalanced frequencies to control people. It's the colors of the American flag. It's the colors of sports teams. It's the colors of political parties. Two bonesmen there, as Fre Freeman uh, talked about. Who are you going to vote for? They're both Skull and Bones members. So, look at the frequencies that are used with police. No green, red, and blue. And it's above their head, these lights. That's another theme we're going to see repeated over and over again. The placement of mocking colors or symbols on the head. Okay? So right above the head of that police, what they're telling them with those lights is you're in a state of complete brain imbalance. You're in the red and the blue. You're in the red because you're a male dominator attempting to control other people. You're in the blue because you follow our orders. Okay? You're in the right brain there. So you're in a complete state of imbalance in the brain. And they're, they're, they tell them that openly. Not openly, but through symbolism. In their way, it's an open form of communication because they're initiated into that knowledge. To the police, they have no idea what they're being told because they are illiterate of that form of symbolism. <clears throat> That's why they're called the boys in blue. It's another form of subtle occult mockery. They're being told, we own you and you'll do whatever we say because you're in that state of blue, right, which is subservience toward the right brain to your masters. <clears throat> The hierarchy system works through the secret society networks. This is also why uh, the blue lodge degrees are the only three degrees in general that fraternal order of police members move up through. This is called porch masonry. Okay, not being initiated into the higher levels of knowledge, but basically operating in a form of a brotherhood of you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. If crimes are committed, we'll cover them up for each other, etc. and so forth. And this is not how true Freemasonry is intended to be uh, carried out. It is intended to be a system that teaches morality, ethics, and the understanding of natural law. And it is in a, is in a deplorable state in the world today. It is fallen. So I'm going to get into some Freemasonic symbolism to show how police are mocked through this as well. This is the first degree tracing board of the entered apprentice degree. You see the checkerboard floor of the house. This is known as the Temple of Solomon on this tracing board. Okay? The checkerboard floor of the house represents base consciousness, unconsciousness in general, not understanding one's spiritual nature, not understanding natural law. You don't know what good is, you don't know what evil is, you're ignorant of both. Okay? You're as low as it gets. You can't go any further than, than the floor. 